Greg's annual commencement address this time for the class of 2023. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I give you your keynote speaker. Oh, wow. Mr. Greg Gorey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It is such an honor to address the graduates of the class of 2023 and those being promoted. Promoted. <laughs> promoted. <laughs> that is a term I only learned a few weeks ago. And I appreciate how it's in keeping with the great tradition of our education system by sugarcoating the real world, whereas a promotion is actually quite a bit more difficult to attain as opposed to advancing to the next grade as required by law. But it's too soon to digress. I am reminded today of my college graduation back in the 1990s. Oh! In the 1900s? <laughs> when I graduated from UC San Diego and previous keynote speakers included the late Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, the now perhaps canceled Dalai Lama, and the now canceled Dr. Seuss, canceled for, quote, portraying people in ways that are hurtful. But luck luckily, we have advanced since the 1990s and books are no longer controversial. Uh, no, they're just banned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Point being, I don't remember my keynote speaker, and I don't expect you to remember me or anything I've said today, but do try to remember just a couple of things. Action and Schluter. We'll get to Schluter in a minute, but we're going to start with action. You change the world with action, not with opinions. Your bumper stickers might sound nice, they might promote peace and environmentalism while you road rage and you litter. And they might even vilify capitalism as you drive your new Jetta wearing Lululemon and sipping a latte, tweeting about the evils of corporate profit. You affect change with action. When I was in college, I joined this group called the Student Environmental Action Committee, SEEK. And the main goal that I had was promoting water conservation. That was my cause. It's still my cause. Mm -hmm. I tried to rally the club to march over to campus maintenance and demand that they not run sprinklers when it's raining. <laughs> a simple platform, a simple solution, a simple action. An endless fight. And an endless mm -hmm. fight. It goes on to this day. Absolutely right. And the president of the Student Environmental Action Committee shot down my idea, mm -hmm. saying, quote, yeah, I think it's super important to save water, but those sprinklers are like on timers. And the water cop in me was defeated. So take action. Take action also by asking questions. My bank just merged with another bank and my new bank, unlike my old bank, has a monthly maintenance fee for a checking account. So I called, I asked a representative, what do you maintain with this fee? And her exact <laughs> response was, and I quote, I'm not even sure. Yeah, mm. great. And I asked, how much is this fee? Her quote, I think $4 or maybe it's like $6. Oh. <laughs> how do you not know? <laughs> so I will be taking action and I will be switching back. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Now you yeah. change your surroundings <laughs> and your situation by action. Unless you had chat GPT write your term papers, you know what it's like to have a mountain of work ahead of you. You know about deadlines. Carry that into what we call real life. But in real life, you may see that people don't want to put in the work or meet the deadline. And they want those who did put in the work and did meet the deadline to atone for their horrendous sin of success. Read the story, not just the headline. Read the loan you're about to sign. Read the room. Read the energy. I had the same dentist from childhood well into adulthood, Dr. Gary Runes. Same dentist. Gary for Runes. Gary Runes. <laughs> Same dentist for 25 years, and it dawned on me in my teenage years that I had never once seen his face. He was always, even pre-pandemic, behind a surgical mask. Never saw his face, not once, but I always did see his hairy knuckles. They were so hairy that they were noteworthy, and he had a gold nugget ring. And he was always telling me, do not drink soda. It's just so very bad for your teeth. Well, one day I'm at the strip mall behind his mid-century dental office, gorging on a chocolate bar and guzzling a cherry Coke. A man walked up to me, gray dress pants, white button-up shirt, and said to me, hey, don't drink Coke. And I rolled my eyes so hard I could see my own brain, and I thought, who is this arrogant stranger telling a kid he doesn't know what to do or what not to do? So I shot him a dirty look, I hopped back on my free spirit pinnacle 10 speed, and I rode away. And then it was years later that I realized that was Dr. Runes. <laughs> I saw the admonishing man's face this time, but I had no reference point. 
I had never seen his face before, but I also that day saw those hairy knuckles and that gold nugget ring. And I didn't make the connection because I didn't pay attention to details oh, and I yes. wasn't reading the room. So you might want to know how this relates to graduation. It doesn't, really. But this is the time of year when elders share anecdotes and they try to connect seemingly innocuous information to experiences you might encounter someday. And with that, we will end with Schluter. That's the edge, the trim for tile, and it's usually made from stainless steel. You use Schluter on the outer edge of a backsplash, the edge that doesn't meet in a yeah. corner. Like you don't want to have like a raw edge of a tile cut exactly. tile. Exactly. Yeah. Exposed. Exposed. Yeah, it's unsightly. And so Schluter covers the side of that tile in a decorative way, comes in a variety of colors. So pick the right Schluter. Too many times, tile work that is so painstakingly applied gets ruined by the wrong choice of Schluter. So pay attention <laughs> to little details. Read the room, ask questions, live what you espouse. So congrats graduates and those being promoted. Remember that with promotion comes responsibility. So take action, change the timer on your sprinkler, analyze your bumper stickers, hide your bad habits from your dentist, and never overlook and never underestimate the Schluter. All right. So oh, good, Greg. Greg. Corey. So good. I love that story. You have it. And why do dentists always have weird names? <laughs> well, I had a John Johnson. Yeah. Um, a Gary Runes. Yeah, Runes. Johnson's fine. Like, my uh, dentist's last name is Smood. Smood? Smood. Yeah. And then, and then who's pa is Payne, right? Yeah, that was my uh, my mom's dentist. Oh, wow. Dr. Payne. Growing up. Dr. Yes. Payne. Like, why would you go to a guy named Dr. P-A-I-N-E? Right. But still. Yeah. Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne. No, who's your dentist? Dr. Payne. Dr. Yes. Payne. Sign me up. I'm out. Yeah. How do I get a gold nug, nug ring, you know? I know. Be a dentist, Be a I dentist. guess. <laughs> well, nice work, Greg Gorey. Thank mm -hmm. you, Wood. Uh, graduates, congratulations.